Hello everyone, welcome to Southern Wreaths. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and share my video. And be sure to become a member of my wreath group where you will get an exclusive video every month that you can only see if you're a member. Today I'm going to show you how I made this bow for the wreath I made on Sunday. All right, I grabbed these two and I'm just going to do a mixture of these and this. I'm going to put this black and white one on the back. I'm going to do, I think I'll come back in and do my tails when I'm done. So I'm just going to take a little bit of it. So I have about two, three inches here and then I twist it and then I'm going to make six inch loops. So I have my bow dabber at 12 inches and I'm just going to pull it out to the six. And over here. Do it out to there. See if they're even. I think I'll end up with three loops. So what I'm gonna do is just do the two loops because I want to have tails. I'm gonna trim that away. Then I think I'm gonna grab another ribbon. I guess I can use this one. Do the same thing where I have a little bit over here and then pull it through, twist it. I'm gonna make these six inches as well. I just want some a contrasting color on the back to make it pop off the wreath. All right, so I have four loops of black and white. Now I'm going to do the green. This time the, the loops are gonna be slightly smaller. So I'm gonna come down to about five and a half. And I'm just using my existing loops to help me measure. If you wanted to be exact, you could pull it off of there and measure it. As long as it looks the same on both sides, I'm happy. I'm gonna do four loops of the green. So two on each side. Now I'm just twisting away from myself each time I come through. Right. And I think I'll do the purple. So the purple I have to do by hand and I'm only going to do one loop of each. The reason I'm going to do it by hand is because it's facing a certain way. So. I will loop it and I want to do about five inch loops. So, right there, and then I'll come over this way and do the same thing. Again, making the five inch loop. Let's make sure they're even. And then I'll trim that away. And I do that because it keeps the direction the same. If you do it in here, the direction flips and uh, one side will be upside down. With this one going this way, I'm not really too worried about the direction. So I'm just going to do this one the same way I did all the others. If I can get it to stay in there. This one I'm going to do at the five inch, or uh, yeah, the five inch loops as well. So I have four six inch loops, two five and a half inch loops, and then four five inch loops. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the tinsel ribbon. So I'm gonna make these about four inches. So I'm going to do it twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm using my mat. So I'll put it at four and go to eight and then just wrap it around. Then I'll measure it out to make sure I have eight so I can get it to work right. 
but I definitely want that overlap and then I'll do that again so I'll just go over and over and then I'll trim that off pink it and add it in so I'm just going to use a random pipe cleaner it doesn't really matter what color I'm going to grab everything and pull it off and you can see it all stays together you could put the pipe cleaner on the bottom as well, but I like to add it from the top so I can add my tails to the back. And so I have the pipe cleaner to add it to the wreath. All right, I'm gonna tighten it. Let's do just a little bit. All right, I have it. I'm gonna grab the bow and pull it forward while I twist as tightly as I can. And now I'm going to go through and trim off some of these extra ribbons. Alright, I think I got most of them. Now I'm going to set this down and I'm going to start at the back and make my way up. Oops, this one. So I'm going to pull these on either side. Do the same back here, doing opposites. So it goes stripe, harlequin stripe. Then I'll do the green in between those. And then the purple and the witch. Again, doing opposites. And you wanna start fluffing it up once you get it pulled out. Fluffing is always the most time consuming part of a bow. So I'm just going to show you what I do with the center and then I'll spend the time off camera fluffing it because it takes a long time. So I'll just do like that and then I will come back when I'm ready and add the tails. And I think that's the best I'm going to get it right now. I just fluffed it as best I can. Alright, so this isn't a huge tail so I think I'm going to do one of each. And they're about 12 inches. So... I'm going to show you how I add everything to my bow. I'm going to go ahead and dovetail the ends. And then with this one, I'm going to have to do the same thing because I want the witches facing a certain way. And the tails do not all have to be the same length. It's probably better if they're not. So I'm going to pull this in half. And then I'll just go ahead and dovetail it when I cut it. Alright, oops, I shouldn't have done that. My goodness. So I'll dovetail the end of this one. Alright, and this one is about 9 inches, and this one's about 9 inches, so they're about the same. So this goes there. We've got the purple. Cut it at 24 because I want these to be 12 because I'm going to put them behind the white ones. Pull them out evenly. I think I'll do them facing out like that. That will be cute. Then I have opposites. My goodness. Alright, so these are going to go behind this and the green. These are at about 14 inches. Okay, so I'll gather all my ribbons together. This one I could have just kept long. I'm not sure why I cut it like that. All right, so I have all these together. What I'm going to do is pinch it really tightly. I'm going to flip my bow over. 
and put this inside the pipe cleaner that's there with the pretty stuff facing towards the front. And then I'm going to twist it super tight. Like tight. You don't want it to move at all. And now I'll fluff my tails. Again, starting in the back. And you could skip the tails too if you wanted to. You don't have to have ribbon tails. I just think they're cute. And I want these to be kind of curly. Alright, now let's add it to the wreath. And if for some reason your pipe cleaners are not long enough to reach, you can add them. So what I do is take one and cut it in half. And then I take my pipe cleaner and I twist one, two times. And then I take these that are left and twist them with each side. And this just like locks it into place. So it makes it longer so it'll reach to the back. Hey, um, I'm going to jump on here and show y'all how I roll my pipe cleaners down. I had someone ask me to zoom in a little bit and show you. So I'm going to do my best to zoom in and show you. So I just take my glue stick and then I have a pipe cleaner. And I just start it at the top and just like tuck it over. And then I use my fingers to help guide it and I just slowly twist the glue stick. And so the pipe cleaner is wrapping around the glue stick. And you'll just do that going all the way down. So you don't have to use a glue stick. You could use a pencil. Here, I can show you with the pencil. So you just take it, grab it, you tuck it over. So it's just like a little hook. And then you just keep spinning it while you hold it. And then after a little while, it stays there. And I grab a hold of the pipe cleaner and just twist. And twist and twist and twist until it gets to the bottom. And that's how I curl my pipe cleaners. If y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or you can email me at craftingwithleeatyahoo.com. Thank you so much for watching and if y'all learned anything today or like my video, please like, share, subscribe and be sure to become a member of my wreath group. I will leave the link in the description below. Thank you.